friends and family in Jesus. What a blessed time it is to be alive. If we look around us and we see what is still happening in the world, sitting here in this beautiful country of ours, we can see just how much the Lord has blessed us. We are about to go into a brand new year without all the worries and the stress and the problems that the northern hemisphere of the world is still facing. They are still riddled with uh, this virus. Um, their uh, economy is plummeting every single day. And the Lord God Almighty has chosen us in this time as a nation and as a people to be blessed exceedingly abundantly in all areas of our lives, socially, uh, financially, um, health-wise. And for that, we can only give Him the glory and the honor and the praise and the thanks. This morning, I just want to share a, um, a, a thought or a message that has gone lost in, um, in, in time. And this thought in this message is plain and simple. I want to start with a question and I want to ask, every time the Lord speaks to you about something, every time you read the Word of God and He shares something new to you about the Word of God, a revelation in the Word of God, how do you remember those words that the Lord shares with you? How do you remember word for word what God said to you? Now to me in my life, um, a few years ago, I started something in my life that um, uh, needs a lot of discipline. You need a lot of discipline to be able to do this. And that is, I, I took a book and I started a, a daily journal. So everything that the Lord shares with me in devotions like this or in my quiet time with the Lord, um, a revelation when I'm driving in a car or a dream that the Lord gives me at night, um, I write down in this journal. Because everything that the Lord shares with us every single day will eventually impact our future. Because there's going to come a time if the Lord speaks to, to you today about something that He wants you to do or change or um pursue or build, there's going to come a time in your future where there's going to be accountability on that. And if I have forgotten about what the Lord shared with me today, about what He wants me to do in the future, um, then all of that will go lost in, in my life. Now, there's a lot of people that I've shared this with before and that have said to me, we don't need to keep a, a, a journal. That's, it's just added work. But this morning, like I always do, I never say or do anything if I do not get it out of the Word of God. And this morning I want to share two scriptures out of the Word of God. If you want to follow, the first scripture is in Jeremiah 30. Jeremiah 30. Now, Jeremiah is a prophet, powerful prophet. And the Lord is sending him to... Um, the Israelites, to give them word from the Lord. And even a powerful prophet like Jeremiah, the Lord says to him, you must take a book and you must write everything down that I say to you. And I want to show you this morning in the word of God where that says that. So Jeremiah 30, um, verse 1, the Bible says, this is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Verse 2, this is what the Lord the God of Israel says, write in a book all the words that I have spoken to you. And then he carries on further and he gives the word to Jeremiah that Jeremiah must go and give to the Israelites. So he is, he is saying this to Jeremiah so that not one word will go lost. If you want to um, go to another scripture, in Malachi, Malachi 3 from verse 16, Malachi 3 from verse 16, the Bible says there, Then those who feared the Lord spoke with one another. The Lord paid attention and heard them. 
and a book of remembrance was written before him of those who feared the Lord and esteemed his name. Now these are only two passages of, of a whole lot of passages in the word of God where the, where the Lord said to his people, take a book, take a piece of paper, write down what I am saying to you um, today so that you will not forget it. So I want to encourage you now, I, I know first of all that there are some men that might be listening to this and that, that think to yourself, look, a, a, a journal is not for a man. Um, but yet, uh, the Bible was written by men. And the Bible is a form of journaling. So the Lord sat his people down, the men of God, and said to them, write this down that I am now going to say to you. And they faithfully wrote it down. So what I am saying this morning, family in Jesus, is that not to forget the power of a revelation that the Lord gives to you today. Not to forget the power of a, a dream that the Lord gave you last night or last Monday. Not to forget a teaching that the Lord gave you while you were going through the Word of God every single morning. Just buy yourself a very cheap little notebook. And whatever you feel the Lord says to you in your heart and in your spirit, write it down. Because I can guarantee that somewhere in the future, it is going to manifest what the Lord has said to you. So many times, more times than I can count, in that journal of mine, the Lord has shared things with me. And then two days, two weeks, and maybe even two years later, those things have manifested. And when it manifested, the Spirit of God reminded me that I journaled about this. And I went back in that journal and I had a look where it was. And I found it. And as true as we are standing here today, um, the Lord shared it with me and I was ready when it happened. Amen. So it's good to, to have something like that. And what I usually do is... Um, I journal Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But before I journal the new day, I go back the previous two days to see what the Lord had, had shared with me. Why do I do that? So that I make sure that if in those previous two days the Lord had asked me to do something or told me to do something or led me to do something, that I keep myself accountable so I go back the previous two days and I have a look. Did I do what the Lord wanted me to do? Did I say what the Lord wanted me to say? And that journal is just a, another way keeping me accountable to my God and to myself to, to be able to every single day stand up and say that I am an accountable man of God. I am a truthful man of God. I am a reliable man of God. So, if you feel led today to start something like this, maybe even um, some of us are already doing it, then I want to encourage you this morning, brother and sister in Christ, continue to do it because it, it helps us with our discipline um, in the Lord. It helps us with our discipline in the kingdom of God. It helps us with our discipline in our church. Um, and it helps us with our accountability to keep us on the straight and narrow that the Lord has uh, created for us. Amen. Please join me in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, your son, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the blessing um, of life, the gift of life that you have given us. We thank you, Father God, that for those of us who are already journaling and writing um, every everything revelation and every word and every teaching down every dream that you have given us lord jesus it is a way in keeping us closer to you it's a way in 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 helping us with our discipline it is a way in 
uh, helping us with our relationship with you, building us stronger and stronger every single day. So I thank you for that, Father God. Lord, I pray that you will please continue to be with us during this day, that you will guide us, lead us, teach us, and remind us of every word that Jesus said when he was on earth through the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray, Lord Jesus, that in this day we will find ways, seek ways, Lord, glorify you, to bring you glory, honor, praise, and thanks. And, and we thank you, Lord Jesus. We love you with everything inside of us. We pray and we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, family in Jesus. Um, yeah, I, I pray and I hope that you have a blessed day today as we draw closer and closer to this new year. Um, I don't know about you, but I, I want to testify this morning and I want to say that the Lord has been speaking to me and to Sharice a lot about this new year. The Lord has given us so many ideas, so many plans. Um, I've already started with, uh, with some of them, um, putting some of them into place and building some of them. Um, we are going to reach out to this town of ours in this new year, especially the, the younger generation to bring them into, um, into the presence of God, to bring them into uh, our church and in, into our hall and, um, and, and just bless them because that's, that's why Christ has put us here. Amen. So I'm excited about the new year. I am, I am physically very tired, but I'm spiritually very alive and awake and, and, and ready for this new year. Um, and if you've got time today, maybe sit back, sit down and, and look back on this new year and have a look at all of the victories that the Lord has given you. Um, the devotion for uh, tomorrow morning will be just about that. So until we meet again tomorrow, be blessed in Jesus' name. May the Holy Spirit guide, lead, and teach you. Um, may he uh, rain down a fresh anointing on you today. Um, and I pray that in Jesus' name. Until we meet again tomorrow, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.